the objective of this evening is going to be how to deal with kicks and how to deal with range to be able to form a takedown. Right? This is obviously grappling week, okay? So we, we're going to be approaching grappling positions. We're not necessarily, you know, in grappling week, we're not necessarily always going to cover takedowns. We just want to deal with how we, that grappling range, right? So it might be that we're here and I want to be here or I want to be here or I want to achieve a takedown but I've even got to use a kick to do that or I've got to get past the kick, right? Especially if you're someone that likes kicking, okay? So we're going to go over what we were doing last week, we were doing my Gary's, uh, Yoga Gary's, Mawashi, and the shoe ropes, okay? So for my Gary's, Depends on the height of the kick. I'm kind of hoping that if it's my Gary's problem, it's going to be stomach height. So just to demonstrate, Scott does a my Gary nice classic kick like this, right? So I can use a multitude of different strategies. Don't go in, because <laughs> I'm going to get kicked, right? Especially if I go in whilst he's doing the kick, and the kick's going to end up somewhere worse, right? So I ideally want to be working around it. So you can go to the inside, better to go to the outside. Okay, if you panic and you're going to be inside instead, that's okay. You're just going into where all the weapons are, right? So it'd be very much if you was going to do the kick. I want to be getting to the outside, okay? So whether you kick, whether you defend the kick or not, use a bit of footwork to get through, okay? If you are going to use your arm, don't use your hand. First thing is it's wrong. Secondly, out of experience. Because <laughs> I stupidly defended the kick with my hand and broke two of my, of my fingers. Okay, so don't do it. If, you're good, if you are going to defend it, defend it with a Gidan Bri or defend it with Nagashi Yuki. Okay, so you can do Nagashi Yuki with the same side or if you're feeling like committing, you can Nagashi Yuki with a front. It's a bit more of a commitment, but I would certainly say rely on the movement. Okay, so it does the kick and in, right? Or, you can wait until the kick's completed, okay? So does the kick, then come in. That's a fair strategy, right? So I'm basically giving everybody the tools to go and practice it yourself, right? So I'm, I'm, what I want to do is practice throwing a kick in, and Scott's gonna deal with it, okay? Scott does a kick, I'm gonna deal with it. I want you to have a bit of a free play, talk about it, okay? So like I said, you can go around it, you can defend it, you can tag it if you want to, so he's doing um, uh, check it, sorry, so he's doing a kick. I can check it and use that kick out the way and move forwards. You can move out of the way, or you can wait for the kick to finish, okay? W whether he kicks and steps back or kicks and steps forward will make a difference as well. So if he kicks and steps back, that's uh, fine. I'll use momentum to power through. If he kicks and comes forward, that's well, fine. I'll use the opposing momentum to my advantage, okay? And then you can use that use all your basic training, get to a good position, if you want to go take down, go for it, okay? But we'll start with that. So let's consider the basic objective, right? The objective is pass through the kick, pass through the kicking range to get to grappling range, okay? So we're not doing Jiu Bon Kumite where he does the kick and I go, hey right? That's something else, right? I want you to do whatever you need to do to get from here to either here, here, here or here, okay? And if you're not sure about all that, I'll come over and give you a hand. So you've got high glitch, so high glitch, back of the neck, going over the arm, like so. Low glitch, where you're going to underhook in, wrapping the arm, right? Not necessarily always going to be this perfect, right? It's going to be something like this. I'm going to either be under or over. High glitch, okay? Wrap them around the neck, here to here, or get around the back so that I've got his side or I've got his back. Okay? Whichever you do, do not have space between the two. Or what, as soon as you get to that grabbing position, you vacuum pack yourself. Right? So it's not this. Okay? It is that. Okay? Here, attached, barely in, almost, not quite, but almost behind the maneuver. Okay? So if you've done a hundred maneuver, I hope you haven't had to, but the practice is coming in and up. Okay? I've had a time So 
Help me. No. Don't give your partner a hug. Okay? I'm not hugging my partner. I'm grappling it. Okay? So whatever position you do, keep it tight. Okay? Body together, ear tight, arms, hands. Tight. Air tight. Air tight. Air tight. Okay? If you're going to do a takedown, do that first. Right? Get that name so that they feel out of control. And obviously, I also, also don't want Scott to be in a good position either. So if I'm doing this, and this form is perfect, I'm doing something wrong here. Right? So I'm going to be ruining his form, or ruining his form, or ruining his form. Okay? My form's got to be good, his has got to be terrible. For any takedown to work. Right? So taking down from that, very hard to do. Unless I'm a highly, highly skilled judoka, which I'm not, I have to destroy the body first. Okay? So you're saying about striking? Absolutely. You want to throw some stuff in on the way in. So the objective is to get from here to here or here or put them on the floor. But the gauntlet is kicks and punches, but kicks. Okay. So if I, if I overheard what you were just saying, you're absolutely right about waiting for the single leg opportunity. Yeah, absolutely. Scott's absolutely right. So if you're if you're quite competent with different takedowns, you can skip straight to the takedown. Right, so I'm assuming this is what you were just saying, is that you can wait for the kick, if, whether you grab it or not, you know, if you grab it, awesome, you can go for the single leg. If it's a bit of a risk, or, um, you know, you can bottle it, that's okay. Bottle stuff all the time. But it might be that I go for that kick, and my body weight has come forwards, he might choose as the opportunity to drive in and go for the single leg. Yeah. So if my body weight's forwards, I'm gonna be rearranging my, my weight and that's his opportunity to come in and go for the single leg. Yeah, absolutely. Um, there's nothing stopping you if he does the kick, coming off to the side and go for a double leg instead. Yeah, so you're quite efficient with different takedowns from range, right? So particularly the single leg. You can't do a single leg from here. If you want to do a single leg from here, you've got to push him away and then go for the leg. But it very well could be that if you can grab the leg or not, wait for him to do the kick. Yeah, push it back, and then take the leg and go for a single leg. Absolutely, yeah, good point, yeah? If you're happy with single legs, go for it. If not, we'll do a single leg no time. Now you've got a grab position, so let's say you're taking back, taking the side. If you stay upright, even if I'm backing the back like this, Scott still has leverage to move around. So if he wants to move around, try and get out of this position. I've got no room for the floor. Yeah, even though it looks like I've got the advantage, I'm giving Scott quite a lot. To work with. So what I can do is practice some basic Tai Chi. Right? So in Tai Chi they talk about lifting your head, dropping your pelvis. Okay? <coughs> Open up the spine. For meditation it's good for opening up your body, opening up the, the organs, stretching out your back. But I want you to practice this. Okay? So when you, if you get to that back take, <coughs> or you keep your head attached to your partner, but I want you to drop your butt. Okay? Like that. Okay? So don't bend your knees, don't squat, drop your butt. Let your, let your hips and your pelvis go very heavy. Okay? Like you, you've got your sort of disconnecting it in your body. Okay? I'll show you the difference, right? This is me with long legs. Okay? Move around, try and get out of that. You just pull over. Okay? Okay? Now <coughs> I'm not tensing my legs, I'm just dropping the butt down. Okay? Do you see the difference?